In this episode, we're going to be looking at the water level detection sensor module, and that is simply this little PCB that has alternate tracks of ground and a sense input with a small transistor amplifier. It is an analog board and would normally connect to an analog input where we can get the values from it. Alternatively, you can also use it on one of the digital inputs if you just wanted to know whether there's water or not. The hookup diagram is obviously very simple, just ground VCC, which is 5 volts, and the output connected here to analog input 0. That's how it looks on the schematic, and this is how it looks in real life. There you can clearly see the alternate tracks and the small transistor amplifier, and there's a 1 megohm pull-up resistor to each of the sense inputs. Looking now at the code, this is also very, very simple indeed. There's an integer which is the A to D converter, or the analog input 0. An integer which is the history value, which compares the value against the previous one, and a character buffer. All that's in the setup is to start the serial monitor, and the loop does an analog read from the A0 pin, compares it against the previous. If the difference is greater than 10, it will print that out. I've already uploaded the sketch to the board. Let's look now at the serial monitor. At the moment there's nothing happening, but it's quite sensitive even if I just touch it. The moisture on my thumb there is triggering it and you can see the different values that it measures. If we now pop it into a glass of water, we can see the values in the hundreds there and as I move it further down into the water, it starts to increase in the 200s there, and then finally in the 300s. Backing that out again. All the time it has water droplets on it, it will indicate the same value brush those off. As it dries out, the values go back to zero. So a very simple circuit there. I live on the edge of the only desert in Europe, and rain is a fairly infrequent occurrence. But when it does rain... Yes, when it rains, it really rains. And I get worried in case the tank in which my terrapins live could overflow and they get washed away. Perhaps the answer is to add a water detector and a pump. I've modified the sketch now to control the pump. Uh, the first part is as before, just a definition here for the output pin to the pump relay. In the setup, the addition of the pin mode pump to be an output. The loop, again, very simple reading the value from the sensor, comparing that against a value of 290. If we remember the results from the first sketch, then that should trigger the pump when the water level gets about halfway up the sensor. If that's detected, it prints out very heavy rain and turns the pump on. Otherwise, it prints dry weather and the pump remains low. A delay then of, of one second. We look now at the serial monitor. We can clearly see that it's dry. And now, if I put my thumb onto the sensor, we can see the value goes up, but the relay is not triggered. This relay module has an LED on it that will indicate. Let's do our test now. So if we put it into the water, you can see the value going up there nearly to the trigger point. And there we are, triggering around halfway up the sensor. So the pump should be wearing away now, and as the water level drops, the pump switches off. If it realises again, obviously it switches back on. Let's go and try it for real. Everything is set up for our test. We have our tank of water. I have a submersible pump, which is connected to a 12 volt source via the relay. If we now raise the level of water. There we are, the pump has kicked in. And quite rapidly the water level has dropped to the point where it's cut off. If it rains some more, 
Let's have some really heavy rain, shall we? You can clearly hear the pump whirring away there as the water level drops once again down to the safe level. An excellent result and uh, my terrapins will now be safe.